नमस्कार खुश रहो विद्याओं माय नेम इज दीपक गंगवा स्टैंड प्रोफेसर इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी तो इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल लर्न व्हाट इज फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड व्हाट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट तो सी यू कैन सी अ फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज अ प्राइवेट एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू पार्टीज द सैमसिनियसली ऑब्लिकेट द बायर टू परचेज एन एसेट and the seller to sell the asset at a set of price at a future point in time means what dekhiye two parties honge one is buyer and one is seller of jo price hoga wo already pehle se hi decide hoga future ka price okay unlike futures which are regulated and monitored by the commodities future trading commission that is called cftc okay forward contracts are unregulated such unregulated financial instruments are called over the counter instruments now we'll see the history of forward contracts forward contracts have existed since at least greek and roman time there's a great deal of evidence that they were commonly used during the middle ages in europe and the europeans continued the tradition of forward contracts in the new world forward contracts were used to stockpile essential goods that could be resold for a profit a later date buyers would take portion of the wheat corn or the other commodities upon delivery the product contract pay the forward price agreed upon the contract and hope that the demand of the good would grow so they could raise prices resell it and generate profits okay now we'll see how how do forward contract works so forward contract begin when a seller seeks a buyer for some commodity think of farmers who face considerable price uncertainty each year their crops fail due to insects disease or weather and the demand of their crop may be fluctuate substantially to protect against uncertainty uh farmers may draw up a forward contract and sell it to private buyer for example large food manufacturers may purchase a for farmers wheat forward contract to look in the price and control their manufacturing cost a farmer hopes to benefit from the forward contract by ensuring that he has a buyer for the commodity he will also have an agreed upon price if he can meet the forward contract qualification like producing and delivering uh bushels of wheat corn and oats so the buyer assumes a long position and the seller assumes a short position when the forward contract is executed the agreed upon price is called the delivery price it is equal to the forward price at the time that the two parties enter into a contract forward contracts attract two type of buyers hedgers and speculators typically more hedgers than speculators participate in forward contract about hedgers and uh, speculators we will discuss in next class so thank you very much for today's class thank you very much